Jared Thompson was like most Americans in 2008, when his job security took an unexpected turn. He and his wife decided to take the risk of a lifetime, pulling out his 401k and starting their own company. So we just decided to just kind of brainstorm what Bloomington needed that it didn't already have and what would be things that we'd be interested in doing, basically. And so that's where the idea of a comedy club came into, and that was it. It was just one idea, and we went with it, and people thought we were crazy. And they're right. I mean, really, honestly, if we were to run the club the way that a club is supposed to be run, we wouldn't be open still. Bloomington is not a big enough town to have a full-time club, and so we've kind of like forced our way through and you know been able to kind of make our way and be extremely patient and just wait you know for people to start coming. Five years later the club has built a reputation as one of the best comedy venues in the country as named by USA Today in their January 2014 issue. Everything that we've learned we've learned ourselves and just on the job as far as like how the club should be run, who should we book, because Bloomington is that much different. I mean, we're extremely, extremely lucky that what we like is also what Bloomington likes. And Bloomington, not just the club, does an extremely good job of treating comedians very well. And so people feel really at home when they come here. And this is the way that comedy was invented to be shown, is this intimate, small stage, low ceilings, crowd right on top of you. That's the way it's supposed to be. Given the intimate environment, it's been all the more important for Jared to cultivate the type of audience he wants for comedians, something he believes has been central to their popularity. Well, I think that we made a decision very early on that our belief was that comedy is an art form. And therefore, any art form is treated with respect. And so we weren't going to allow table talk or yelling out or things like that. We were going to take a stance against it. And anyone that thinks that they're helping at a comedy show by yelling out has never experienced art before. I mean, it's just not the way it happens. Like, you don't go to a ballet and heckle. Like, and so we've kind of, over time, kind of made it to where the audiences that we get are more savvy to comedy. They understand what we're trying to do here. They understand that the comedians that we're lucky enough to get don't really have to come. We don't want their experience to be that we don't care, that you know, that we are just kind of going through the motions. Like we want it to feel special every time. And Comedy Addict's reputation has spread among nationally acclaimed comedians as well, affording Jared the ability to pick and choose those who best fit the venue. But there is just like this, it's just this it, you know, a lot of people are going to sound the same and, and, and things kind of stay within a certain uh, area. But within that area, I like to stay as different as I can. And honestly, I don't know if people notice or not. Because I don't know if people realize the amount of thought that goes into the order of comedians. But there is kind of an art to putting it in a pattern. You know, the two things I feel the proudest about about this club are you know, the level of comedians that we've been able to bring here. And the number one thing is our local comedy scene, like how we have been able to provide a place for people to really start, you know, their career in comedy. Because we have venues that have given people almost every other art form, you know, over the years. And we've never had a place that, you know, we've never had a full-time comedy club that was showing you the art form of stand-up comedy on a weekly basis. You know, going forward, we're a very good place for you to kind of get your first taste of what it would be like to be a comedian in a bigger town because you're performing with these comedians who live there. And it is a very exciting time for comedy. Like, it's just, a, a, you know, a wonderful thing for us to be able to share with, with the town, you know.